guys, Tarek with Cyclone FPV. Sorry, let me get comfortable and situated here. All right, so today we're gonna to start, uh, I'm gonna do a little video on building one of the frames that we've got here. And we've just got a bunch of two new frames in, and this is gonna be the uh, Concept, Concept X210. And there'll be a link to this, uh, This I just got these, I just got these in. Let me do a, a screen share here real quick. There we go. Okay, so I just received these in. And so I figured, well, hell, we'll just go ahead and build one live. And, uh, and then that way you've got instructions on how to build it and I can link these on the website, okay? So here goes. Let's just go ahead and open it and see what's in here. Uh, okay, and I'm going to get the calibers out so I can uh, tell you exactly the size of all the items and the thickness of everything. And you guys can jot that down in case that I don't have it on the website when uh, this goes up to sell. Let me get my little soldering pad here lined up properly. Okay, now uh, let's see. So these are the arms. Let's go ahead and get that open. Okay. All right, so we've got our arms. Uh, let me see where I'm at on this. Let me zero this out. So roughly, arms are going to be right around five millimeters, a little over five millimeters. Okay. Uh, our, let me see. Since I don't know how this is laying out exactly, since I don't have a picture, uh, I'm going to have to see. Let's see. Our camera mounts are going to be about two millimeters. And then these are probably going to be right around the same, about two and right around two. All right, so everything is about two millimeters and then we've got our arms that are about five millimeters. Okay, so let's see how this is gonna lay out. Now, since I have not, since he's just got in, I don't have a picture to work off of, okay? So that's why I'm doing this for you guys because we need to be able to see what the heck's going on, right? Okay, we've got our standoffs. So I'm gonna go ahead and open those up. Let's get these screws out of here. So you're gonna get your screws, your standoffs, your foam pads, uh, your battery plate connector or protector, I mean, and so forth. So we'll look at all that in a second. Right now, I just want to get these standoffs and see how this thing's going to lay out. Okay, here we go. I like these. I like that they give you landing pads too. Okay, so let's look at what we got here. Uh, top, bottom, and because of the, uh, to, to figure out the s distance here. Okay, so my guess is that this and this arm, this would most likely attach here, I guess, maybe. Yep, just like that. And with this going up here, and then the, make sure the standoff is, that's the size of the standoff, and it is. Okay, so, so far I'm figuring this part out. And then this is gonna be the back. I guess you're zip tying down here. And this would go, uh, let's see. Assuming it would go like that. So, my guess is, and this is strictly a guess right now, we're gonna find out, okay? So the arms with the slots in them right here, these are gonna be your front arms. So go ahead and lay that out. Okay, just like that. Okay. And the arms without the slots will be the rear arms. And you can lay those out. Well, I'm just having one of them, there we go. Like that, and like that, is my guess. I don't know if they're, I don't think they're gonna attach like that, but they're gonna be close, okay. This, my guess, is gonna be the bottom plate. This would be like so, I would say. I'm assuming. So it would go something like, and let me look and make sure I get everything else. And then you gotta put your grommets in here. Go ahead and get those ready. And this, whoops. This does look like it would make sense, so let's go that route. Just kind of set those up here. You got four of those coming in. One, two, three, and four. Okay, here we go. And this is gonna pass through. So, this piece will go on the bottom. And now it's just a matter of finding the screw that's gonna have the right height. And I assume, just to be sure, I would think it's this one, but I don't know yet. So let me, 
<coughs> we're going to see a little bit because I would assume the longer one is going to go for the standoff, obviously. I think that's kind of a no-brainer, but we're going to see. So let's take the regular size screw, pass it through the arm right here, and then put this back on. And if I can verify this, then I will let you know, and that way you will know what screw to use as well. Okay, so don't think I'm, I mean, I will tell you the size and everything that I used. Uh, I don't think that that's gonna be right. So we're gonna try another one. Golly, that's a tight fit though, I'll tell you that. There's no complaints on this, this thing's solid right there. I just think it'll be a taller screw. So let me do the other arm now. And I'm gonna try a different size screw for this one. and then we'll verify which one it is. Okay, so we've got a few different size screws here. So let me just line them up for you guys. Okay, one, two, three. Got a smaller one here. Four, five, Ready? Three, there's four of those, and there are four of these. These ones, I think, are pretty clear where they're gonna go, and they'll come in from the top or the thinner piece. So looking back at this now, I will say that we're gonna now try the, lo the longer screw just to see. All right. You don't have to have the arm in there for that one. That kind of slides in. That's pretty cool. So this is going to go in there just like that. For the still, I want to see if the uh, screw is the right size. So let's try that. Pull that grommet down. Well, you know, part of me says that we would go with the taller one because from there we can add our standoff for the board. So on this case, I'm gonna go with the longer one until something tells me otherwise, okay? So let's just do that. So let me pull the shorter one out. So, for the, and it does make sense to go that route, so let's just see. We'll finish the build now. So we're gonna use the longer ones to go into the grommets here, which then, like I said, gives us space to put in our standoff for our flight controllers. And this sucker, this sucker is, you know, the, the difference when you hand make one, I mean, obviously there's a lot of work that goes into the ones I make, but for the folks that are looking for something quicker and less expensive, you know, you can feel the difference when you buff something out like on this carbon fiber, but outside of that, the sucker is pretty stout. I mean. It's very stout, so I try to I try to get I try to scrutinize most of the frames as as good as I can to make sure we don't just get junk, obviously, because I didn't want to get into selling frames anyway like that. I wanted them to all be custom made, but the market and the budgets, you know, I want to try to make it more affordable, easier to get for people. So that's how we get into this area. So as long as we don't, you know cut uh, corners for quality. I think we'll still be okay to at least provide you guys. It's not one of the frames that I personally cut and clean up. You know, I'm hoping these make good second choices at least. All right, so here it goes. We can slide that in. And then I guess now I might as well enough time. This time's good too. Okay, so here's where I have the dilemma. The dilemma here is that, oh no, you know what? That would work because this is gonna go up. Now, I don't know if people prefer to do them this way or that way. I don't really worry about it. That's gonna be perfect for there, although I would I would normally like to see a longer screw. Um, and then for this one, I don't know if you want these up or down. I usually would put these on the bottom, actually. 
Let me put this the way I would normally do it. If I did this frame, I would put it in like that. So let me do that. I'm not going to tighten it all down right now, but let's just do that. Okay. All right, we'll put another long screw in here on the grommet. Like I said, you can just get it started, then you can slide the arm in as you want. So let's slide this arm in. Okay. And then we can go with a second long screw for the other part. There we go. Kind of just finger tighten these for now so we can get something to hold. There we go. And that's nice because it leaves you an excellent space for your um, strap. So let's do this one. I must not have this lined up properly. Let me see. Yeah, it's in there. Just got to get these lined up. So let me put the end of the screwdriver in there. Make sure I got the arms lined up. See if we can get this sucker to go through. And I shouldn't have tightened it down anyway. That's the other problem is I tighten this one down a little, a little early there. There we go. Yeah, don't tighten down the uh, screws into the grommets or into the uh, inserts uh, because uh, if you're off just a millimeter, this thing's gonna hang up on you. So you've gotta get it precise, which is fine. I mean, I shouldn't have tightened it anyway. I think, I tighten that one up too, so I'm just going to loosen it just to keep everything consistent. And there we go. All right, good. Good. Everything's looking good so far. Okay. Now, to make sure we've got everything done properly, we will first, let's put our spacers in. Now, this is something I notice in manufacturers. You won't see this on my frames because uh, I don't understand this part, but, but. They do give you shorter screws than I would like to see inside aluminum standoffs, but that's just in general. I've noticed everybody doing that. I don't know what the deal is because it can't. It's not really a cost factor, I guess. But uh, anyway, so if you want, you can always get longer screws. Um, but I mean, it's it's not really a big deal. But I, I like to I like to fill in the aluminum spacers as much as possible with a screw, so it's got less chance of bending. But um, I don't know if that's going to be an issue for y'all or not. Just only on really hard impacts. All right, so let's get this done. Here we go. And you guys can get a first-hand look at what these new frames will look like. Okay, so we know that our camera mount is up front. And this looks to be pretty universal, so it doesn't matter which side you put in facing what. So let me go ahead and put this in. Okay. There we go. Oops that down go ahead and put our front our top piece I mean on and this is what the shorter screws, screws will come in useful for okay so we're gonna go ahead and tighten that down now And now with everything done, it's pretty solid actually. I'm gonna go ahead and just tighten everything down now. So first thing I'm gonna do is tighten down the inserts here. One, two, three, four. And then we'll go ahead and tighten the tops. I mean the others. So let me do that one. One. All right, 
right, and then I guess I'll put these on for now so I don't lose them, but these are the standoffs. I'm just gonna go put those on. Come to the four standoffs, this way I'm gonna give an accurate weight here in just a minute. I got four standoffs. And I'll put the uh, fasteners on as well. Uh, where did it go? Here it is. Okay. Almost, almost done, sorry. All right, so that's the frame itself. Very strong, I mean, it's it's a very solid frame. I'm impressed with this. Um, okay, so now we're gonna see how they want us to do the rest of this, right? Oh, uh, let's see. side so go on the other side that'll be what you land on now the only thing I'm thinking is they did not put anything here so I assume they're gonna keep this as the anti-slip right here okay so there's that and I just have a battery sitting here so let's see so that would sit like this whoops sorry like this and the strap would come all the way through so let me grab the strap real quick and see how that goes just grab a simple basic strap here I don't know why this felt was on here Go ahead and take this off. Oh, it's stuck on there too good. Never mind. Okay, so if we put this on like so, let me put this here. It's actually going to hold pretty good. Seems pretty stout. That's on there pretty solid. All right, now I would most likely, my thing is that I would get a lipo, I would get like one of the, the lipo pads or I mean, I'm gonna grab one of those too while I'm at it. Now those don't come with a frame. So, I mean, you get a lipo pad like the ones that we sell, and they're always going to be a little skinny or a little smaller than the squares that are available. But uh, if you just come in, you cut it. I should have done that better. But I'm just going to narrow this down here a little bit. Go ahead and peel it off if you can. All right, and then just place it right in there. That way, the lipo will stay away from the screws. Now, when you put the piece on there battery will sit more level and that's perfect so there you go there is that's uh, frame number one that we're doing I well it's not frame number one I'm just gonna do a bunch of them but you'll find that on the website that'll be under the that'll be under the five inch frames it's a it's a 210 I believe uh, yeah the concept X210 by TCMM uh, five millimeter arms blah 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 I've got the battery on backwards actually Supposed to be the other way. Solid frame though. Uh, oh yeah, I was gonna get the weight. Shoot. Sorry, let me get a weight real quick. Let me get my soldering pad put back in the right spot. Alright, let's try this again. Quick. 
Should be 50 grams. I don't think on this surface I'm going to get much. All right. Let's see if maybe I have that leaning on something. Yeah, so that's not going to work. Oh, let's see. If I guess if I move this a little bit, I just don't want everything to go flying. So let me see what I can do here. Um, you know what? I got an idea. Hold on. Be right back. See if I put this on the clipboard, I zero this out. 50. Perfect. So we're back. We've got a solid surface now. So now, let's see. Without lipo, but with everything else, frames looks like it's gonna weigh about 100 grams. Okay, so it's about 98 grams. Oh, can you see that? I guess you guys might not be able to see that, sorry. I bet. So you've got about 98 grams, okay? So it's not bad. I mean, it's it's a pretty solid frame. I don't see any problems with that one. So that was, uh, there it is, and you'll see a link to it. I don't know what the price is going to be on these yet because I just got them in today, but uh, I'm going to get started and get this ready, okay? All right, see you guys. If you have any questions, listen, if you have any questions, uh, hit me up at targetcyclonfpv.com. Please make sure to, there's my email address, please make sure to follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube. Uh, and let's get rid of all that. And other than that, guys, God bless. Have a safe day. Spend time with your family. Safe flying. And we'll see you for the next frame. See ya. Bye.